Oh, just wow. Wow. Wow, I'm looking for my potatoes. Here's my potatoes. Got a new idea. Oh no, it's not just me. We've got a new idea. It's not even new. It's an old idea, but we've refined it. That's what we do. We refine things, make it even finer. The old idea was good, but the new idea is even better. So like, try planning. Yes. This is the opposite of planning. This is just doing things without planning. Because some things don't need planning, but some things do. So, let's plan a bit. All right, so we're gonna make a, um, a, a, a YouTube channel. It'll be about food. Talking to my friend Gonzo today in Bolivia, just about potatoes. What a magical ingredient this is. You all know about potatoes, don't you? If it's not, this is a potato. What type of potato is it, Leon? I don't know. That's the planning part, like, and then rinse. Cleaning the kitchen first would have been nice, but I don't have time for that because this is reality and kids and stuff like that. <laughs> This is the path to success. Putty knife is something I won't be using in this. Because in the future, everything's going to be positively professional. <laughs> right, we'll make a show about food for you. Because food is interesting and exciting. It is. This is more exciting than like one of these food shows where they just prepared everything. That's a bit boring. I haven't prepared anything. Here's my butter. They've wrapped my butter in paper. So I need to butter this dish, which isn't very, look, it's just condensation, it's not dirt. Right, so I'm just gonna put a bit of butter on the sides here like that, because I don't want my potatoes sticking. Do a little cross like that. My dad was talking to me about this. Because and then in order, in order, they can, the butter can run down. So the, the thing is that I'm not gonna do this project on my own. I'm gonna do it with like one of my mates who's a very good chef and he's been studying food and stuff. So I'm, I'm just like the food cowboy at the moment. When it's melting, the gravity will draw the butter into the cracks and the cross inside the potato. First, I'm gonna put some rosemary and thyme all over my potatoes. Uh, okay. So watch this, you, see, you can't even see what I've written on that anymore, but I think it's, ooh, it's rosemary. Rosemary! If you're in Sweden, you don't really need measurement because everything is log on. And what the heck does log on mean? It means just enough. Log means team, om means round. It means a measurement that is enough to last everyone in the team, all around the table, sort of like that, you know, make it last just, Use common sense, don't be greedy. Just have, take enough, but not too much. Just slam that into the oven. Put your timer on. I don't know, I'm gonna put 35 minutes on 200 Celsius, because that's what we use here in uh, Sweden, Scandinavia, Stockholm, Europe, whatever. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, so this is the potatoes after 20 minutes in 200 degrees Celsius. All right, cheers. We've just survived another 20 minutes into the future. I'm just about to chop some onions. Oh, yeah! Yeah, don't put your eyes too close. Because you're going to... Oh, yes. Remember to bend your fingers backwards, my friend Victor taught me. He's a very good chef. Because if I've got a plan, it's maybe a... Yeah, please fall on the floor. Okay, look here. I'll stir in the onions with some butter. The next step is to put some uh, beans. Okay, so look at all the frozen beans. Let's see them in a few minutes. Many other people are just so normal when they cook, but I don't do that. I do crazy cooking, bro. This garlic most likely comes from China. For some reason, garlic is one of these stressful things. Like, I just, I just, why can't I remember garlic before like things are heating up? Like hot pots and pans and gah. See now, this takes such time. It takes such time. In fact, this would be practical having a kid here. 
Living in such criminal times, it sounds like a police helicopter's outside a window. Is it? Yeah, well, you know, it's always been like this. It's just due to the internet. We know that the police helicopter's always out these days. Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Mm. Got to have some garlic. I just got to have it. Little things won't be the same without garlic in my life. And you know, there's lot. We're gonna. There's gonna be definitely a video about garlic someday. Score. One. As we say here in Sverige, which is Swedish for Sweden. I like corn things, thingy. Hey, take a look at my tomato thingy. You don't use that expression that much in the United States of America or Canada or possibly South Africa, thingy. Oh, left hand boring. Don't want to keep things boring. Hey, that's quite a good uh, 500 grams of passata tomato. The, the Pomodoro, I think is just... Passata di Pomodoro. Yeah, what the heck is it though? In, uh, it's tomato passato. That doesn't sound very English. Tomato, but it's just past tomatoes. What it means like tomatoes from the past. I want future tomatoes. Let's put some spices in. Uh, yeah, let's put a go. Ooh, I love this. This is this is really nice. It's not even from Sweden, but uh, yeah, herbal salt. F and A, bro. Black pepper. Uh, well, I would you'd get into trouble if you just start using this pepper. So I'm not using that. It's from Barbados. That would be a great place to do a food video in as well. So yes, maybe you really call this salsa. I don't know. Some, to put some tomato passata in there. Oregano. Well, it's the reality of the world, isn't it? Right, that's probably not just Sweden as crimes in. Hello, what's going on? Oh, I can't see the helicopter. Well, there's crime going on today again, somewhere around my neighbourhood. It'd be better if there wasn't any crime. Better if people just cook and have a good time. Intended rhyme. That's nice. Like all the potatoes are opening up themselves because of the due to the heat, like the uh, potatoes may be expanding. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> Isn't it weird though why people get so emotional about food like oh, oh, oh I mean makes sense though. I suppose being hungry is an emotion, is it? I don't know. How you feeling hungry? Hangry. I'm hangry, hangry. Right, so, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, food's nearly ready. I need to make a little salad. This is an ergonomic way to be working. I don't know, but this is how I'm gonna be working so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna make a little, a little uh, red bell pepper salad. Do you like red bell pepper? I like it, or capsicum. See, um, someone could help me out with this one. Bam, 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 bam. Like that. Yeah, okay, like that. Just a dash. So delicious. I might have run out of basil. Spoon and mix it around a bit. Wow. Okay, so here's some uh, beans. But, like the kids don't want this. I want that. It, that's a uh, broccoli. Hi. So here it is, salsa with black and white beans and uh, roast potatoes with crossing, some bell pepper with uh, leek, delicious. Mm. Right, so we're gonna enjoy this.